Today, we are going to look at a body vis brain builder about the pelvic girdle and pelvic fractures. The adult pelvic girdle is composed of the paired pubic, ischial, and iliac bones. Closely associated with the pelvic girdle is the sacrum, which is joined to the pelvic girdle at the sacroiliac joint. The bones of the pelvic girdle develop independently by endochondrial ossification. The fusion of the ossification centers within these bones typically begins when someone is between 15 to 17 years old and typically is complete at about 20 to 25 years old. The right and left pubic, ischial, and iliac bones all contribute to the formation of the acetabulum on each side of the pelvic girdle. The acetabulum is a large articular socket that forms part of the hip joint with the femur. Let's learn more about the pubis, ilium, ischial, and the sacrum. The pubis forms the anterior inferior parts of the pelvis. The two pubic bones join anteriorly at the pubic synthesis. During delivery and under the influence of hormones, the joints of the pelvis, including the pubic symphysis, loosen, thereby allowing passage of the fetus through the birth canal. The paired iliac bones form the superior element of the pelvic girdle. The lateral projection of each ilium forms the wing of the ilium, termed the ala. The smooth inner and outer surfaces of each wing serve as attachment sites for muscles of the lower limb. The ischium forms the most posterior portion of the right and left halves of the pelvic girdle. The five sacral vertebrae begin to fuse at puberty and are completely fused between the ages of 25 to 30. Complete fusion of these vertebrae forms the sacrum. Each sacroiliac joint is formed at the articulation of the sacrum and the right and left iliac bones. This joint possesses a very small joint cavity and several strong ligaments connect the sacrum to the two lateral iliac bones. Fractures to the bones of the pelvic girdle are termed pelvic fractures. The pelvic bones, like any other bones of the body, have areas of weakness that are more susceptible to injury. Areas of weakness include the pubic rami, pubic symphysis, areas immediately surrounding, the acetabulum, the sacroiliac joint, and the wing of the ilium. Next, we will look at the symptoms, causes, and treatments for pelvic fractures, and finally give a patient example. Symptoms of a pelvic fracture include the inability to get up from a fall or to walk, pain in the hip or groin, bruising and swelling around the pelvis, a shorter lower limb on the side of the injury, and the lower limb turning outward. Pelvic fractures are often the result of any number of injuries. The most common causes of pelvic fractures are antera posterior compression of the pelvis, lateral compressions of the pelvis, crushing injuries to one or more bones of the pelvis, or forces transmitted to the pelvic bones through the lower limbs as a result of a fall onto the feet. Treatment for a fractured pelvis usually involves a combination of surgery, where screws and plates are inserted into the bones to hold the pelvis together while the fracture is healing. Medication to help the patient cope with pain and swelling. And physical therapy to help the patient's range of motion and strength after the fracture is healed. Finally, let's take a look at a patient example. You are a physician working in the ER and the ambulance is on its way with a patient from a car accident. You receive the report from the ambulance and take a look. Age, 40, gender, female, chief complaint, severe pain in the right hip with immediate swelling and edema. The paramedics suspect a possible fracture to the right hip. When your patient arrives at the hospital, you immediately send them to radiology for a CT scan. The CT scan shows multiple fractures to the pelvis, so you upload the CT into BodyViz 3D software to get a better picture. There are multiple fractures located at the right iliac ala the right pubic bone, and the right ischial tuberosity. The patient's bladder has ruptured and there is diastasis of the left sacroiliac joint. You also can see large hematomas around the right iliac ala fracture. You contact the head orthopedic surgeon at the hospital and fill him in on the patient. A surgery follows immediately to stabilize the pelvis through use of inserting metal plates and screws. 
The surgery goes well and your patient begins physical therapy the very next day following surgery. This is a classic example of a fractured pelvis. Want to see more 3D anatomy visualizations like the ones used in this brain builder? Check out BodyViz 3D dissection software. Go to our website to schedule a demo today.